What is going on guys, DBG here, in this video I am going to be going over some of the new duos that were added today into NBA 2K18 My Team. So there were 10 new duos added, but there's no list of them, so I'm going to try find as many of them as I can. So first of all is Terrence Ross and Jeremy Evans. This is one I have and I know what both of these guys go up ratings wise. So Terrence Ross actually becomes an 86 overall card, which is really, really nice. He's got an open shot 3 now of 94, which is huge. I know he might be saying, oh, that's not that big of a deal. 94 is not that much better than 88. I don't know why, but in so many videos, I've talked about him not being able to make a jump shot, and now he just doesn't miss. Like, he's unbelievable on offense now. He's also got 93 throw, which is huge, because he does have a boost of 23 in draw fell. His driving layup also goes up 10, so he's one of the best driving players in the game. One of the best slashers, 95 driving layup, 99 driving dunk, 75 draw fell, 90 free throw, and can shoot. Honestly, one of the best offensive cards in the game. Unfortunately, you have to use a Jeremy Evans to get this duo to work out. Jeremy Evans' mid-range shot goes up 8. His free throw goes up 12. His draw fell goes up 20, so he does draw a lot more fouls. Driving dunk as well goes up to 99. Driving layup actually goes up. His um, on-ball defense goes up to 70. His low post defense goes to 85, so he's actually a good low post defender. Okay, block rating of 70. Defensive rebound and box out going up, that's good. Even though his offensive rebound's 48, if you watch my last gameplay, he actually got like four offensive boards, which is a bit crazy. But um, plus 158 total stats, this guy goes up four ratings to an 82 overall emerald. And even though it's not the best, considering the fact that you get one of the best offensive cards in the game with Terrence Ross, this is still quite a good card. Now we have got opening night, Kevin Durant and Andre Iguodala. So Kevin Durant, I'm not sure what price these cards are. They may have gone up because I think someone was saying that the Terrence Ross and Jeremy Evans duo has gone up from like 10K to 30K, but you never know. It might drop down in a day or so. But this card goes up a lot in ratings. It goes up 132. Please don't tell me this is the case. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. This card becomes... The Sapphire 85 overall. So he literally just becomes a card that you already have. Like that's, there's no point in going over these stats because everyone's already used the 85 overall. That's again, just 2K already being lazy with this. All right, let's go to Andre Iguodala now. If Andre Iguodala is good, this duo may be worth using. If not, just pay the 9K or so for the 85 overall one. Um, his three point shot goes up six. Ball control goes up two. Speed goes up six. Free throw doesn't go up at all. Home shot mid goes up, contested, not dribble shot mid goes up. Um, like if you already have this card, maybe this duo is alright to use, because it does make a Godala, what I'm guessing is an 87 or 88 overall ruby more than likely, but um, yeah, this card's quite good, his shooting goes up a lot, even though shot IQ and offense consistency are 50 of his 137 attributes, and they're not that important, but yeah, like... It's a good duo to have if you already have this Andre Iguodala, but not something I go out of my way to pick up. So the third duo is Vince Carter and Tracy McGrady. So Vince Carter, his Toronto Raptors rookie card, needs this duo to have a 95 driving dunk, but he literally just becomes the um, 85 overall with a higher vertical and higher driving dunk. Oh, actually higher driving layup as well. So. Yeah, actually, this card could be a good one to pick up if it's quite cheap, especially because of those hot zones. Actually, his other one's the exact same. But let's see what it does to this Tracy McGrady, though. So Tracy McGrady has now got a much better three ball of 85. He's got still got that 94 speed. Unfortunately, he can't speed boost. Defense consistency goes up. Driving dunk goes up to a 99. Driving layup goes up 10. Free throw up 10. This is probably the best Sapphire card in the game right now and is a really, really nice card. Like, if you picked up this card early in the year and haven't sold it yet, or if this card comes up for around, like, I don't know, maybe 15k to 30k at any stage this year, and this one's quite cheap, so and this Vince card is quite cheap, this could be a good job to pick up. But right now, I'm guessing, I'm just going to have a look at the price of it now. Um, I'm guessing that it's really, really high. Yeah, like 70k. Yeah, there's one up and he's 70k. So this card's really expensive. And no matter what, how good it looks, how much it improves, there's no way a Sapphire is worth 70k in this game. So now we've got Jason Kidd and Grant Hill. 
Jason Kidd is one of the rarest cards in the game. And Grand Hill is also quite difficult to get because these cards are relatively rare. But he goes up 35 total stats. Like, this is the big advertisement that 2K made. Oh, you can use Grand Hill and Jason Kidd. Like, he goes plus six shot mid. Plus, like, he's still not a great mid range shooter. Still can't shoot, really shoot the three ball. Wow, this card doesn't get better at all. So let's look at Grand Hill now. So Grand Hill goes up plus eight and three ball. Oh my god, really? That it? 99 driving dunk. That it? Like, really? That's it? This is the big advertisement 2K said, oh, we have this duo, and that's all they did to it. Come on, 2K, come on. Now we've got the Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant duo. So, Michael Jordan goes up, plus 10 and three point shot. He still can't shoot. He can still dunk. He can still speed boost. He's a little bit better defender. He can steal the ball a little bit better. And he's basically the exact same card. Like, basically the exact same card. I know the duo makes it look like it goes up a lot by 109 total attributes, but it just makes him slightly better at the stuff he's already good at. And slightly better at the stuff he's bad at, but not better enough that he's actually good at those bad things. This card is still meh. As far as Michael Jordan cards go, it's meh. Now we have got Kobe Bryant. This card is almost unattainable. And let's see what it does to it. Okay, he goes plus six in three ball, plus five in defense. They really could be lazy with this because so few people have this have this uh, Ruby Kobe. Well, they did a bad job with that one there. So what other ones there is? Cedric Sabalos, I know, has a duo. Cedric Sabalos and Dwight Howard. So let's see what it does to Sabalos. Plus six open shot, 388, which actually makes him a really good shooter. Good open shot mid as well. Great free throw, driving dunk up to 99. Obviously, he has 100 tendencies. Speed accelerate, speed with ball, stay the same. 58 bog draw, still, still lacks a lot, to be honest. 84 um, offensive rebound, 62 defensive. Decent enough on defense, but yeah, like, it's okay, I guess. It makes it a little bit better. But this card is like 60k, and Dwight Howard's like nearly 100k, so... So I don't really see this duo making more people want to use this card, to be honest. And this Dwight is so expensive, like nearly 100k. And his free throw goes up to 85. Obviously, 99 driving dunk, like half of these cards have. And that seems to be it. Like, rebounding goes up a little bit. Plus 80. Doesn't make him that much better, to be honest. Like, basically the exact same card. Okay, so after pretty much extensive research, I found some more of the duos. So, first of all, we have got a Chandler Parsons duo. So, this duo is with Mike Miller. This card, let's see what it goes up. It goes a plus five and three point shooting. He's 6'10. His defense goes up a lot. Lateral quickness doesn't go up at all, though. So, it does make this card a lot better. But the funny thing about this is that this Mike Miller card doesn't exist as of right now. Like, obviously, this card will be um, in the game very soon. I assume Thursday, tomorrow, but as of right now, it's not in the game. When this card goes, up in shot mid, shot three, and also lateral quickness. So, when this card becomes cheap, which will probably be in a few weeks, and when the Chandler Parsons card is cheap as well, this could be a nice shooting duo to pick up. Maybe play the three or the four, or the two or the three, because they're both quite tall for their position, so that could go quite well. This duo could be quite good. Next, we have got Rick Fox and Travis Best. So, Rick Fox goes up... A good bit in ratings, um, 82 shot mid, his three-pointer stays the same, shot IQ goes with 30, don't offense consistently goes with 30, that's 60 of the 107, they don't make that much of a difference. 90 on ball defense, so he's a lockdown defender, lateral quickness still 88, good draw fell, good defense consistency, his shot mid goes up, and overall, decent, like this card was good enough as it is, but this card is extremely rare, this Travis Best, I don't know what price it is, but it's rare, it is quite rare. His open shot three goes up 11 though. His ball control goes up. He is 5'11 though, which is not great to be honest. 90 speed. This card was, wasn't was good when it was first added. It gets slightly better, but still really not a great card. Next, you've got Leandro Barbosa and Nene. So Barbosa goes up by a lot in his defense. 126 total stats in his defense, but the thing is, it doesn't go up at all offensively. Like, he still, and he still isn't a particularly good defender, so I don't really know what I think about this. Like, 6'3", he becomes slightly better on defense, and if it's really cheap, maybe, but yeah, not, not a 
incredible card, to be honest. And let's see what it does to Nene. And as of right now, as far as I know, Nene isn't in the game either. So, yeah, he goes up 72 stats. His defense goes up as well. And he still doesn't have a good shot block. Wow, he goes up barely anything. Defensive consistency, that's 30 to 72. Yeah, this duo is not really worth picking up. It's not great at all. Like, Nene doesn't, his game style doesn't suit 2K and Barbosa is just too small. So anyway, that's the video. If you guys know who the 10 duo is, please leave in the comments because I genuinely can't find it. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.